Expand design, a roomy cabin, dual tone interiors, 15 smart utility spaces, and a large boot space, all there to expand your life. Welcome to Easy Space. Police media spokesperson SSP Ajit Rohan notes that court has issued detention orders for the police to detain and interrogate Nuan Uday Gunatilaka, alias Kudunuan, for six days. SSP Ajit Rohan noted that investigations into the suspects linked to the illegal drug trade are ongoing. <laughs> We obtain a six-day detention order from the court for him to be held by the Colombo Crimes Division. Investigations are ongoing. We are looking into who gave this person the drugs and we are looking at who he has to distribute the drugs to. Kuruduan was arrested on the roadside about 40 meters from his home. The heroin was found on his person when he was arrested. Nuan Uday Gunatilaka, alias Kudunuan, first rose to prominence when he accompanied Minister Mervyn Silva and broke into the Sri Lanka Rupavahini Corporation premises. He was arrested by the Colombo Crimes Division yesterday on drug-related charges. The Deputy Chairman of the Kolonava Urban Council notes that Kudunuan is a supporter of the Council Chairman Ravindra Uday Shanta, who is currently in remand custody on charges of assaulting the Deputy Chairman. Rejecting the allegation leveled by the Deputy Chairman, the wife of the Chairman, Ravindra Rudesh Shantar claimed that Kudunuan is in fact a relative of the Deputy Chairman. Kudunuan is the Chairman's most prominent henchman. He is the first and Kudunuan is also my foe. I have lodged complaints against the person known as Kudunuan at the Mirihana police station. Would this man's relative engage in thuggery on behalf of my husband? Whenever something happens in Kolonava, they talk about my husband's relation. But the truth is that my husband is no relative of his. He is related to the deputy chairman. Kuduruan snuck into my house to insult me. My sister's husband is Asanka Disanayaka. It has been about 10 to 15 years since he died. Even if my sister was with someone else or with 10 others over the 10 years, they will not all be my brothers-in-law. <laughs> He was caught at his house. You can investigate this, can't you? The Mitra Mulla Temple Hena is where his office was located when he was the Samurdhi regulator. That is still their ancestral home and even his parents live there. So how can he say that this person is connected to us? My ancestral home is located at 97 upon 5 Silva Lane in Mitaramulla. The suspect was reportedly arrested at a home in Pansalhena. That could be my sister's home. I do not know. But I can state responsibly that Kurunuan is a person against whom I have lodged complaints with the police for assaulting my supporters, those who work for me. Kurunuan is the person who worked to make the chairman victorious. We have informed the president of this and we cannot say what is happening. We are also waiting to see what will happen. He made the Kolonava Urban Council come first in all of Sri Lanka in the national productivity competition for the very first time. My husband, who was so dedicated, is now in prison. The chairman of the Kolonava Urban Council has been arrested on charges of assaulting the deputy chairman. He was arrested on suspicion of using a pistol during the assault. As far as we know, as a party, the chairman of the Kolonava Urban Council has a licensed pistol. I cannot say anything more on this since it is now before court. I do not know who Kuduruan is. As far as I know, he is an alliance supporter, but he is not from the party. Just because someone who was with a politician several years ago has been arrested over the past couple of days, we cannot arrive at the conclusion that he worked for the UPFA. Bharata Lakshman Prema Chandra is slain in a shooting in Angoda. Gunshots fired at propaganda holdings of Prasanna Solangarachi. Kolonava UC chairman's brother is abducted. Attempted abduction of the chairman of the Kolonava Urban Council at the Umagilia Sports Ground. J 
gymnasium owned by the chairman of the Kotikawa Tamuli area of Pradesh Sabha vandalized on two occasions. OIC of the Vailampitiya police arrested on charges of possessing narcotics. Kolonava Urban Council chairman lodges complaint with police HQ citing false drug related accusations leveled by the deputy chairman. Two youth are shot and killed in Singapore Kolonava. Tensions flare following an attack on the Kolonava Urban Council deputy chairman by a group of council employees. Five suspects remanded on charges of assaulting the deputy chairman. Suspects in the assault on the deputy chairman released on bail. Chairman of the Kolonava Urban Council remanded, accused of assaulting the deputy chairman. Are these isolated incidents? Do they paint a bigger picture?